These floppy-eared fellas are fun, friendly, and always fishing for food. Just like this chap, Chip. What I love about Chip is that one of his main things, he is very devoted to me. Seven-year-old Chip lives with Fiona and her family in Yorkshire. Chip! Cocker Spaniel's charming personalities have made them the dog of choice for many families. Originally bred as gun dogs, working cockers are every gamekeeper's right-hand pooch. And once a Cocker Spaniel gets a whiff of something tasty, there's no stopping them. He smells out all sorts of things. His favourite thing is meat, cheese, those sort of scrummy things. So I'm not surprised they're called the dustbin dog. And then one day he ate an entire pat of butter. It went down pretty fast and came back up even faster. To Fiona's horror, she discovered Chip had re-eaten the butter he'd brought back up, along with gravel from the garden. We removed all the gravel and, and we actually realised that it was over a kilo's worth of gravel within his stomach. Luckily, Chip survived thanks to the quick thinking of the veterinary team. Luckily for Chip, he was a really lucky boy and came out the other side doing really well and back to the lovely dog that I'm very pleased to treat. The only thing bigger than their brains is their hearts. The breed of dog is English Springer Spaniel. They're the working type of Springer Spaniel. They like to be outdoors and they need something to do. They need a focus in life as we do as humans. Uh, they love to work, whether it's on a shoot, searching for drugs or explosives or things like that. But they just love to be active and kept stimulated. Max is an extremely laid back spaniel. Um, he's like this all the time, he just falls asleep anywhere. Paddy is the younger of the two and he's incredibly energetic. I've always been a keen cyclist, walker, etc. And then uh, one day it all came to a head and uh, it stopped. In 2006, I was traveling home from work and my car was um, hit by a truck. It wasn't a huge accident. They told me, two weeks, you'll be back on your feet. Unbeknownst to me, it wasn't to be that way. I started deteriorating rapidly. I was taking around 27 tablets a day, painkillers, anti-inflammatories, and it's hard to explain, but the pain, it's unseen, nobody can see it. It's not like you're missing a leg or something like that. And at the time, I didn't really know, but I was suffering from depression. And two years after my accident, I found it very difficult just to even walk, and I would get panic attacks because I would get to a distance and then think, oh, I can't get back home. Eventually, I met this chap who was sat in a garden just round the corner from us. And um, he sat there looking at me and I sat looking at him. And just a little glimmer of hope. Most owners choose their breed of dog, but for some, the breed chooses them. Every day I started walking to see Max. Eventually I plucked up courage and the strength to knock on the door and say, can I take Max out? And the lady said, sure, if you want to take him out, you take him out. And um, we did. And from that day, life improved greatly. Kerry and Max formed a close bond. And soon, Kerry was given the opportunity to adopt his new friend, who helped him on the road to recovery. I think without Max, I probably wouldn't be here. Devoted, gentle and intuitive, these dogs seem to understand us humans more than any other. And this handsome fella is three-year-old Tinchy. Oh, you can say hello. And the well-trained chap next to him is owner Chris Hughes, who burst onto our screens in Love Island. Chris's family have a large farm, and working alongside him and his brother Ben are these three musketeers, Chip, Stormzy and Tinchy. Stay. You, you, you're being very premature. I said stay, didn't I? Stay. Oh, Ben, he should have waited for my instructions. Oh, Tinchy, give him another chance. Stay. No, he's done it again. It doesn't happen to uh, somebody that knows what they're doing. Up. Stay. Stay. Wait. Go back. Looks like Chris's dog whispering days are firmly behind him. Why didn't he do that for me? And to me, please, and again, he goes to. Good lad. 
I'll be honest here, I think this dog's actually forgotten who I am. I think someone's got some serious dog bonding to do. <laughs> With courage, intelligence and a love of children being just some of their best traits, it's no wonder the Staffy is one of our top dogs this year. Despite being in this year's top ten, as a breed, the Staffy is faced with a very sad problem. Unfortunately, Staffies have received a lot of bad press in recent years, but it's actually as a result of irresponsible individuals using them as status dogs and actually treating them really badly. So it can take us longer to rehome Staffies than other types of dog in our care because of those misconceptions that people have around the breed. But once they come into our centres, they get to know that they're really sweet, loving dogs and every dog deserves a second chance at a good home. One of those staff is lucky enough to be given a second chance was Diesel. Rescued by 26-year-old Jordan, he now lives happily by the seaside in Devon. I got Diesel from Animals in Distress Rescue Centre. Um, the poor chap was left tied to a tree when he was about 11 months old when we were trying to train him, was sleeping downstairs, but as stubborn as he was, he wouldn't have it. He was up in my bed every night as soon as he could get up the stairs. And it was Diesel's reluctance to sleep alone that proved incredibly fortunate. It was about 3.30 in the morning. I was fast asleep. Diesel started pulling away at the duvet, making all kinds of noises I've never heard before. Jumped out of bed, opened my bedroom door to find flames halfway up the staircase. Dad went out first, then we helped Mum out. By this point, the entire upper level of the house is full of smoke. Couldn't see, couldn't breathe. Meanwhile, Diesel, in absolute terror, has run back into my bedroom and hidden under my bed. I ran back into my room, picked him up on my arms. As we shot back across the landing, we got so close to the flames, Diesel's whiskers were actually singed. The fire ripped through the house that night, and if it wasn't for Diesel's actions, Jordan and his family simply wouldn't have woken up. Now a local hero, he was awarded a PDSA gold medal for his bravery. So grateful for Diesel, as are my entire family that we're still here to this day. It's, uh, it's quite strange how things kind of turned around full circle. I rescued him, gave him a home, and he ended up rescuing us from that fire. Crossed between a cocker and a poodle, the cockapoo is arguably the original designer dog. I absolutely adore Pasha. She is the most loving, softest, friendliest dog. I couldn't be without her. She is the best thing at the end of a long day, giving me lots of cuddles and kisses. Pasha's a very fun and very sociable dog. She's got lots of energy. She loves to go on lots of nice long walks. But I need to tell you something. She's not only the most loving family pet, but she also has some very special talent. Yep, by day, Pasha's a mild-mannered lap dog, but by night, she's a canine superstar, currently starring as Toto in The Wizard of Oz. Pasha is the most spoilt pooch ever. Delivery for Pasha. She loves to go into hair and makeup and get herself looking all pristine and sparkly. She's becoming a diva in the changing room. <laughs> You're a little monkey, aren't you? Pasha steals the show. Every time she runs on at the start, everyone goes, oh, because she is so, so cute and so fluffy. <laughs> She's an absolute star. However, we have had one incident where she's had a little wee on the grass in the picket fence. Don't worry, Pasha. It happens to the best of us. I think Pasha's favourite part about being on the stage is all the attention she gets. She absolutely loves it. There really is no place like home. Hey, Pasha. So then, here we are. Either the Cockapoo or the Staffordshire Bull Terrier will be our winner. Come on, Ben. I can now reveal that the breed you voted Britain's favourite dog of 2019 is... 
the Staffy! Oh, yay! There well is nothing done. left to do but present our winner with the very well-deserved Top Dog Collar. Oh, emotional go, scenes, Zen. well done, of course, well as well. Done. Gorgeous to the cockapoo. Now then, congrats to all uh, to our winning breed, of course, and to all of you like, who love them and voted for them. Thanks to all the dogs and the owners who've taken part tonight. Every single dog has got something special about them. We're lucky to call them our friends, And of we? course, thank you at home, humans and dogs, for watching. Now, take the dog out! Go on, good night! Good night, everyone! Come on, guys, let's go <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're keen.